All right, the best way to explain how sound is recorded on magnetic tape, this is before computers, remember, the best way to explain this is to think of a long sidewalk that was just poured, okay? So we're not talking about tape for a second here. We're just talking about, let's say, here's our sidewalk. And we're looking at it from the side. You know, it goes back out of here. Okay, that gets confusing. Okay. So, and then we got this person walking along with a with a walking stick. Okay? So let's say that this person saw the sign that said wet cement and they're like, oh, I better walk around that. But they weren't paying attention to where they were holding their walking stick and they accidentally dragged their walking stick through the wet cement. So as this person's walking along, right, they've got, you know, they're dragging their stick here and it kind of goes down this far and then hangs out there and then goes down a little bit further and then a little bit farther up and then down way down here and then almost all the way up and because the person he's watching the birds and not really paying attention and his stick is just kind of like oh dipping down into the concrete and then towards the end he's like ah oh my gosh I'm so sorry and then he takes his his stick out and walks along and kind of makes sure nobody saw that. And da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we've got another person and she's walking along. Let's make her blue. Do -do -do. And she's walking along and now this is a a couple days later, the sidewalk's dried, and nobody's fixed it yet, and and she's like, she's got a walking stick too, and there's some pretty cool birds out there that day too, and so she's walking along, do 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 do, watching the birds, and just kind of not paying attention to her stick, and she's not even really holding on to it. She's holding it on to it pretty loosely. So you can imagine what it what looks like when the stick kind of drops down or rises up to different levels. As she follows, if she, as she walks along just dragging her stick, keeping it straight up, let's say, you know, she's holding on to, enough to like keep it vertical, but she's going along and the stick is going to go up and down in the same pattern that the guy's stick was making the pattern in the first place. Okay? So when the when the concrete hardened, wherever that guy dragged his stick in the concrete, boom, the pattern got frozen so that when she walks along and just kind of like lets her stick drop down however far that pattern was, then you can see how her stick is going to go up and down with the same pattern as the guy did his first time through. Okay, so now what I want you to think about is instead of a sidewalk made of evenly spread wet cement instead of that sidewalk now think of it as magnetic tape I don't know what magnetic tape is made of I should know this but it's tape that's magnetic <laughs> let's make the same kind of a strip right but instead of the strip being 
concrete. The strip is a strip of tape that was made in a factory somewhere out of magnetic material and just think of the magnetism as being even. Okay? Now, this is what happens when we record. It's all about magnets. So let's say, let's say we've got a person here that's singing. La 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 la. And they're making sound waves, right? Going through the air because their voice is going back and forth at a certain speed, which makes the air go back and forth at a certain speed into a microphone. Inside that microphone, mic, there is some sort of a surface we call, call a diaphragm. Like, a, just think of it as a, a diagram, as a diaphragm as a big pancake, right? And the, dia the diaphragm, it's, you know, it kind of gets pushed back and forth as these waves kind of come in and push back and forth, right? And so that diagram, that diaphragm, as it moves, it's connected to a magnet. Of course, the magnet doesn't look like that. Let's make the microphone a little bit bigger so we can see both the diaphragm in there that catches the sound waves and the movement, they've got it set up so that the movement of the diaphragm from the airwaves is connected up to a magnet that takes that movement and changes it into electricity. Okay? That's some physics, that's some science, I'm not going to explain how that works. One word, induction. I think that's the word, but don't quote me. Um, the point is, is that this person singing makes sound waves, makes this little diaphragm in the microphone go back and forth, and the, it's connected to a magnet that makes electronic waves go back and forth at the same pattern, and then at some point there's a little, I don't know if it's a needle, on when you're recording like old records it would actually be a needle, but there's some way that this recording device takes that that signal that the magnet is sending out in the same pattern as the diaphragm going back and forth, which is the same pattern as the, the sound waves that she, she's making when she sings, right? Well, let's say the tape is going this way. Now it's not the person walking along the sidewalk. It's the actual, the tape is moving. Tape moving in this direction. Okay, so the tape's moving, she's not moving, the tape recorder's, the, 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 I don't know what you call that thing, the thing that's taking the sound and changing it into electronic waves, that's not moving, it's just hanging out here. So, you know, as the tape goes by, I should have actually put her down here, so that we'd have more to work with here. Here, let's make our tape a little bit further. So you can see, as the tape goes by, it's like, let's, let's say there's a little graph on here, and that's our little plus and minus again. Well, it's going to go, it's going to like make a same pattern in that tape. The tape had no pattern at first, just like our concrete before anybody pushed their stick or down in it. But as the tape goes by, whatever magnetic electronic signals come in through here, it kind of like the tape remembers where that was. Okay? So, that's how we get the sound waves recorded onto tape. And then down here, let's say, let's, uh, this is like when we're recording Right? And now let's think of it, let's erase that so that we can 
Let's see, this is like two different situations. Now we've got our we, we've got our all our, our recorded stuff on the tape, right? The the tape kind of remembers the the ups and downs of the electricity, the magnet signal, you know, so that now what happened right here is going to go backwards. So now we've got another thing that can tell what's going on with electricity and magnet magnetism and as the tape goes past it instead of the arrow down we'll have the arrow up here now this thing kind of pays attention to the plus and minuses that were remembered when they recorded now these plus and minuses of the waves come back and do -do 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 -do, go through the chord da -da -da -da. and now at some point in here we've got another magnet we're going the opposite direction now and that magnet is able just like over here this sound was felt by the diaphragm that was connected to the magnet and the diaphragm movements made the magnet make a signal that went down onto the tape. Well now it's the opposite. The sound, the signal on the tape is going back to a magnet that makes the same pattern actually move the diagram, the diaphragm back and forth. And that's a speaker. So here the diaphragm is inside a microphone. Here the diaphragm is part of the speaker. And boom. And see if I can draw an ear. That's an ear. Okay, and now we hear what was recorded. Okay, let's think about that once more, just to review. The voice is making the sound waves, goes through the air. This diaphragm inside the microphone goes back and forth. It's connected to a magnet that turns that back and forthness of the diaphragm into ups and downs of electricity, electromagnetic stuff that is kind of imprinted on this fresh tape as it's going by so that the tape now has the same ups and downs impressed on it just like it was concrete that got frozen. Okay, then we take that tape and with the ups and downs of electromagnetic signals impressed on it and as it goes past the needle here, boom, now the needle is like ooh plus, ooh down, ooh up, up, and it's sending that same message through an electric cord which is going up to the magnet that takes that message and makes the diaphragm in the speaker go back and forth. Makes the air go back and forth. You have to amplify it, I'm sure, but that's electronics. We're not going to talk about that. The point is, is that the same signal that got went through here, the microphone, and put, was put down on the tape. Now the tape goes back and by the same process of a magnet turning the electric information into actual movement, physical information in the air, and then that moves our eardrums back and forth with the same pattern, and we hear what she sang. Okay, next we're going to talk about how a computer does this. This is called analog, by the way. Analog recording. <laughs>